Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers and this is Raijin do it yourself tutorials and today I'm gonna show you a new tutorial and uh, this tutorial is a coloring tutorial for the anime eyes so if you have a uh, line art and you want to color the anime eyes this video will teach you on how to color it using uh, the paint tool size software and I'll be using a graphic tablet today in coloring this line art this anime eyes line art and my graphic tablet is a cheap one and its name is its brand is uh, genius easy pen i405x and this image is a png image so you can freely color it and the image size or the resolution should be around anything any size would be good as long as the resolution is around 300 pixels okay so let's begin in order to color this um, anime eye line art we're gonna be creating a new layer and I'm just gonna put that layer above and then the tool that we are gonna be using in coloring this eyes is none other than the magic wand tool uh, we use the magic wand tool to color um, the base color of a line art or any um, any image particularly any art design so yeah this tool is for coloring um, the base colors so let's choose a base color of blue other blue something like this okay and then press on the area that you wanted to color so I wanted to color this part so I'm just gonna press on that and once it's done the next thing is you're just gonna go on into this area here and look for a bucket tool yep. this is gonna do that voila and now you have your base color for the eye okay so the next step is just we're just gonna clear its selection and then we're just gonna color this part here um, not something with white but something uh, similar to the color here so that we can blend it much better okay so since uh, the line art is open in this area we have to draw it manually so the, um, the pixels should be more lighter um, and are clean just gonna go into one I guess one pixels and then um, choose color and something lighter and then we're just gonna zoom in and then color it like that okay something like that Since it's now close, we're just gonna use again the magic wand tool. This tool is really a magic. Ta da! There. Just gonna color it there. And then go into the bucket tool. And color it. Clear selection. Now, you have that uh, part of the eyes colored. And then the next part is just we're gonna just click uh, new layer, then clip group it so that anything that we color here will not overlap. So uh, the tool that I'm gonna be introducing and using is uh, I think the where is it? I think I'm just gonna use the watercolor tool here, and then choose. Uh, shadow for the eye something, something like that and then we'll just gonna color it okay it's really subtle you can see 
say it, it's like you cannot practically see the shadow effect. But when you zoom out, it's there. You can see it. Part is being dark. And then we're just gonna add something more darker. Like that. Okay. Then I'm just gonna color it again. Right, I think that's really quite nice now. There you go. We have this part covered. Now the next thing is just we're just gonna color this blue eyes here. So yeah, we'll go into that, and then we're just gonna add a new layer. Then click the clipping group so that we will we will not overlap on that image that we were gonna be coloring. So since we are using this color, we're just gonna choose something that is darker. Something like that. Okay. That's really nice. Just color. Use the watercolor tool. Right. Then darker. Just gonna change size. When you uh, press harder in the water tool, it will go darker. The more you press in it, the more dark it will be. Something like that. Now, since you, when you have the desired effect that you wanted, um, we're gonna add a more darker tone on it. When you uh, the watercolor uh, tool will just kind of blur and blend it together with the color that you have created. Just make it subtle. Press hard. There's something right there. And then press uh, smoothly so that it will blend. And then we're gonna choose now a lighter color, something like white. Add here. Okay. Alright, so it's looking nice. Really looking good. Then, I um, think we we're gonna still shade it. Um, just to use my brush tool to color it, I guess. Get a darker tone, something like that. And color it.
right. There we go. And now here we just uh, draw the oval shape in the center. We can choose darker form. Don't use black always, it's boring. that but you can improve that Today it's I cannot get the stroke that I wanted. I think that's okay. And now uh, the next part is we're just gonna click on white, then add detail on the color. Okay, so just your brush, your uh, line art brush, your line art pen. Just gonna choose a dab. Add something like that, or one in pixel. Two. Oh. What's happening with my hands today? It's kind of not working the way I want it. Yep, let's add a stabilizer. Two. Counter act with my shaking hands something like that then you can add something details like this the eyes and there there you go and then the next step is the next and final step is uh, above the uh, the line art. We're just gonna add a new layer and then color. Uh, uh, color. Let's see. Uh, really looking quite nice to add more uh, something like a glow effect we're just just gonna choose um, let's say water There you go. You have now a great uh, looking eye. 
that's the way how you color uh, the anime eyes it's really simple just gonna do the shadow effects and then there you go the tools that we use are the magic wand tool here the bucket tool and my basic line art thick and line art clean and watercolor tool and there you have it and if you wanted to uh, let's say add more uh, detail on the eyes or you don't want the color of the brow uh, the eyebrows black you can change that something like this uh, in the line art you're just gonna click uh, new layer and then clip it and then you can color it to the way that you desired it to be Look at this as you can see we have edited the color of the brows and I mean the eyelashes and brow and if you want to edit it more, you're just gonna press on Control U, and then we can change here the values of the image, the color of the image, something like that, lighter, darker, whatever you prefer, prefer it to be green, purple. I think that's pretty nice. As you can see, there, the image is pretty darn good now. So if you follow that steps, you're just gonna do it as the same as this one here. Then you are good to go in creating or coloring um, the anime line art in the eyes. So I think that's it. And if you have some questions, um, I will entertain your questions down in the comment section below. And I'll be... Uh, doing more coloring tutorials both in Paint Tool Sci and in Photoshop CS6. So, this is my how to color the anime eye using Paint Tool Sci. And the next uh, video that I'll be posting will be about how to color um, uh, the skin of an anime character. I hope this video is informative and it helps you. And if you have any suggestions or questions, just leave comments in the comment section below. And please do subscribe into my YouTube channel. And thanks for all my supporters and uh, my subscribers out there. Uh, thank you and goodbye.